Hey Ren and hey everyone from the Flux Academy team. I recorded a short video for you in order to walk you through uh, my process of creating the new design for the top stack resume uh, website. And uh, yeah, let's uh, jump right into it. So when starting this project, I first looked at the current website of top stack resume and um, thought about what are the elements that, that I personally like and um, the elements that probably do not work that well or uh, that I dislike. And I did this by taking the uh, current design and uh, drawing some basic wireframes. And um, yeah, I took some notes about uh, what I might uh, want to change. And then in the next step, um, I made a lot of research. So I looked at um, different uh, designs of other companies and um, thought about um, how I could lay out the content of the site in, in a um, way that works better or um, what are things that appeal to me in, in a visual way. And I stored them all in a folder and um, then, yeah, jumped actually right into the design process. Um, I created some basic wireframes just for myself by uh, pen and paper and um, afterwards uh, jumped into my uh, graphic software. Since I've not continuously been working on this project, but um, uh, you know, sometimes I had a couple of hours uh, in the evening or then work on it on the weekends, um, I always jumped back on different parts of the website. So um, I wouldn't say that it was a linear process, but more of an explorative process where I um, focused on different sections of the site and then uh, things came together a little bit like a puzzle. I also kept a, um, a, a note on my phone and thought about what I would like to say, how um, I could uh, simplify the copy that it's now being used on the site. And uh, every every time there, there came an idea to mind, um, I, I uh, pulled out my phone and uh, wrote things down and um, yeah, then added these uh, content elements uh, to, to the site. So here you can see the first draft uh, for the hero section that I created. And I basically started exploring from here um, and created um, different variations of this design. And then I continued to, to create uh, the other sections. I tried different hero sections again, also with different photographs. Um, you can't see that here <laughs> very well, uh, how much uh, iterations I did, but uh, those are the main ones. Um, also, I've always been um, trying different solutions for a second photograph here. I, I asked some friends for feedback actually, and I've been going back and forth um, between using a typewriter or uh, using a computer keyboard because some people said uh, yeah the, the typewriter is too vintage and then one uh, designer told me just just leave it away because it's it's clear what it's about you don't need the second image yeah and that's what I went for this of course is a stock image I removed the background and uh, tried to choose some colors that uh, work well with um, the colors of um, top stack resumes, brand identity or uh, uh, their, their logo, let's say. Yeah, one thing I found uh, a little bit challenging was um, their the color in their logo, um, because I think it didn't work that well on a on a white background. So um, I tried a more uh, grayish, bluish background um, and dark backgrounds, but I think it didn't work well on a white background. Uh, so this was challenging. I even considered changing the logo a little bit, making the orange darker. But um, overall, I think that it works well um, if you just use a uh, not completely white, bright background. What I really liked about this project is that um, the goal for the website was, was already very clear. So um, I didn't have to work so much on the strategy for this website because it was already clear. Um, that this landing page is meant to to uh, convert uh, visitors into uh, customers by purchasing one of the products. Um, so everything is designed in a way, um, the call to actions and, and also the content of the copy in a way that it leads the user um, to the pricing section where he can buy the option that um, yeah, that, that he that works best for him. Well, thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope it was uh, clear what I've been trying to say here. And uh, yeah, also, uh, thanks for this uh, great challenge. It was uh, really fun working on it. Bye.